right, everybody. SEMA is continuing, and I'm loving every aspect of this. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. My feet hurt, but my mind is excited, and it gets even more excited when I check out the Roadrunner behind me. Let's have a chat with Dustin. How's it going? Good. How are you guys doing? We're all good, and I hope you all have been enjoying it at home. Dustin, you've got something that is just sleek and screams sexy behind you. Yes, yes. This is a, a 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner. Uh, we call it the Roadrunner, and uh, it's an eight-year build, a little over $3 million to, to make it what it is, and uh, the creation behind it, a little collab between me and the owner, and uh, yeah, after eight years, this is, this is what it is. We're going to have a look at it in detail. We're going to start from the hood, work our way from the outside into the inside, it looks beautiful. Before we do that, Dustin, tell us about yourself. So I'm Dustin Hacker, Nostalgia Hot Rods, based out of Henderson, Nevada, right here where SEAM is located. Um, we're about 15 minutes from the convention center, and uh, we got a crazy idea this year to bring not just this beautiful ride, but nine others just like it. And um, I know, man, right? Lots of work and tired and feet hurt and the whole nine. And if it wasn't for my 22 guys and my beautiful wife, probably couldn't make it happen to be honest and uh we're here and, and, and it's day four so it's the last day and and uh we're, we're actually excited to get home to be honest so. <laughs> i'm not surprised congratulations on that nine cars here yes. at sema wow can i just say you've got the best looking booth yes uh you know 360 <laughs> booth um jay is a wonderful person and if you're gonna put a car in 360 booth you better be ready to get the best pictures ever because it's it's the world's best photo booth right it really the most is. sold the most i mean look at it i mean anybody can take a picture with a ten dollar camera and it looks like you're doing it with a thousand dollar camera so i will be taking some pictures after yeah our absolutely yeah, yeah yeah i gotta keep that in mind yeah. so i don't forget but without further ado dustin walk yeah. with me let's start off here right at the yeah, front so so the car has been um fully hand made right like yes it's a plymouth roadrunner but handmade roof handmade fenders handmade hood handmade. so what did you start off with well we started actually a really nice car it was a 69 roadrunner um the owner came to me and said dustin i just want a nice driver mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> it kind of went a little far left field from a nice driver just a tad yeah a little bit um yeah eight years in the making right Twenty-five thousand hours of building this car you know we, we have a little over 20,000 hours of just fabrication from sheet metal fab to interior fab um, every part on the car is handmade it's one off for this car yeah wow so wow so talk to me what is custom here and what is uh, original yeah, the, there's a you lot know, <laughs> you know the the only custom or the only uh right original here. part on the car it is that grill that grill is 100 <laughs> percent original 69 it actually came out of this car um the only thing we did is chrome it and uh the owner george which is a you know a family friend of mine and and uh you know, I was like, man, we need to have a billet grill cut for it. And he's like, Dustin, that's the only part of the car that you're like, that we're down to, man. Like, I want to keep the grill. <laughs> you picked everything else. Uh, so we, we ended up keeping the grill and, I, and, I'm, and I'm glad we did. And it just, it has an iconic Plymouth Roadrunner. It really right? does. So, um, but you've complemented it well with the modifications you've done just oh, underneath man, that. The, 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 the handmade bumper, the handmade spoiler, the, the what, what they call the stone guard, fully handmade. There, there isn't one part on the car besides the grill that wasn't a handmade part and a one-off part, so. Wow. Yeah, interior-wise. Um, no, before we get to the yeah, interior. Yeah, 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 of course. Let's come in here. Yeah. Can we raise uh, this a tad more, uh, no? This is all electric, I can raise oh, okay. it. Okay, no. You, you wanna see it? I do. There you go, I'll show you. All right, everybody, the jewel is just brilliant. One of my favorite parts is right there at the top, the little embezzles that's happened yeah. here. Talk to me, what's going on? So that is a 2.9 Magnuson supercharger um, that was custom for this car. Um, every, every aspect, right, um, is 
<laughs> is made for this car. But the blower, uh, Magnuson took care of us and, and, and built a beautiful blower for us. And then we just, you know, we, we beautified it, right? Um, and what power plant is that supercharger with? What's that? What's the power plant with the so, supercharger? So power plant is a 6.1 Hemi um, that has been heavily modified um, to about a 7.0 and uh, 2.9 Magnuson that power wise, you know, um, and look, we're not trying to, we're not trying to kill it, making a bunch of power, but you know, to the rear tire, this car is roughly around 600, maybe 700 horse. Don't really know yet. We haven't, we haven't dynoed it. So, um, but we will, we will get around to doing that. Beautiful. What part of the body lines have you kept the same? None. <laughs> Nothing. I'm trying to find something where we can say, you know, we've kept that, but... No, no. Uh, the, top, the, the top peak on the body is, is uh, original, but we widen the fender. You widen the fender. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Wow. Now we move the, this body line here, we move this body line up three eighths of an inch from factory so it was about down it has been widened it's not yeah. just an illusion that i'm getting because of the modifications to the hood yep nope. tell yeah. me about so so i uh, i widened the I widened the fenders an inch each changed the body line by three eighths of an inch and really sharpened the body lines the hood itself is handmade like out of two pieces of flat sheet metal and and a steel frame that i built and um yeah it just the appearance, it makes the appearance of the car look lower, sleeker, wider. Um, the mean. It makes yeah. it look mean. mean. Yes, yes. Absolutely mean. So we, we tried to make it look to the point where it's going fast, sitting still, you know? Yeah. And that's why we, in the roof, uh, when we built the roof. Um, you didn't even use the car's roof? No, we cut what it What was the problem with the car's roof? Well, in the beginning, it was good. And then I cut it and then cut it again and, and, and uh and uh until you had no roof and, left yeah and i was like man that wasn't it so um yeah we uh we just kept kept going at it and decided to hand make a roof and um if so if if the car were chopped per se it's it's been chopped an inch and three quarter in the front three eighths in the rear section an inch in the middle yeah and then we made the factory rear window fit the car. Well, speaking of window, before we get to the rear, talk to me about the actual windows. Where are the windows? There is. There are no door glass in the car. There is no door windows. This is not to be driven. Well, it could be driven. You know, I mean, yep. right? Like people, people say that to me all the time. I'm like, well, 32 Ford's driven, right? True There's that. no roof. There's, There's no, no side roof. glass. There's one little tiny window and people drive them across country, right? So, well, my, my um, sentence was that this is not supposed to be driven in wet weather. No. And, no and rain. Thank just to God be this car lives in Las Vegas, right? Exactly. We, we rain twice a year. <laughs> exactly. This is for cruising, yeah. date days, yeah. weekends, and, and yeah. enjoying it. Yeah, so our goal with the car was to, to, to hit the show circuits and, and um, really, really show what we can do, you know, and the owner of the car was fully on board. and. Um, yeah, and it's still a driver. I mean, like I said, it's uh, it has no door glass. It I has air it. conditioning. And you know what's crazy? What is uh, we were out driving. We were in an episode of Autotopia LA with with Sean Davis, and uh, I had the AC on while we were just cruising around. It still, the AC feels good, blows in your face, you know. But I was beach weather, so you know it's 80 degrees. So, but this wouldn't be the car you would drive in a Vegas day of 117. You know, you'd probably get in one of uh, one of his other vehicles, right? Yes. So. Yeah. It's a beautiful car. I love it. It looks great. The modifications that has been done here speak very highly of your skills involved. Yes, thank you. Dustin, how long have you been doing this for? 16 years. 16 years. Yes. The work shows. A very creative mind. Absolutely loving it. Who did the interiors? So we do interior in-house. Wow. Um, his name is Darren Wingrove. Uh, uh, his company name is HRH. It's Her Royal Highness. Um, it's from the UK and he's one of the most talented people on the planet, that is for sure. Um, everything in that interior that you're looking at is, is handmade. Nothing wow. is CNC cut, nothing is, you know, done by a computer per se. It's, it's fully hand-shaped. 
Very tight, very tight. Love the pistol grip shifter you got there. Yeah, so actually that is the only, he bought the car with that in it. And we, <laughs> We're keeping some yeah, things yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. So and in the, if I could turn on the lighting in the interior, because that'll make a big difference for the viewers. Why don't we go? Yeah. I'm gonna take the driver's seat if you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. And you can join me on the passengers. I don't know about you guys. I know keeping classics, we all love to do that. But the modifications that's been done here is just, it's beautiful. I love it. There you go. Let's have a look. Wow. So you just hit here, right? And there all you right, go. check it out. This is SEMA. This is what it's all about. The latest of the latest. The innovation here. I'm loving it. Bringing a classic into today's world where other generations, current generations, want to sit in this and drive it. And I'm guessing you have had that. You have had a lot of the younger crowd getting drawn to this. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the electronics in the car, um, besides it completely running off of an iPad, there are no switches, there are no keys, there are no, everything is 100% ran off of the iPad. Um, Hotspot, you know, it's got Wi-Fi, uh, charge pad right underneath your arm. Uh, so you can put your phone here and, and charge it, Wow. you know, um, so, and yeah, the, I gotta got, got, love the sound system yeah, in the back. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a sound system just, in it. Just, 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 just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. And tell me about the footprints. So those there, um, you can open the door from those is basically what it is, because there's no handles on the inside. So you'll swipe your finger over it and opens the door. Dustin, this is crazy. Crazy, but beautiful. Elegant. Very elegant, very luxurious, yes. and very 2023, yeah. all the way up until 2025. Yeah. This is just, yeah, it's a, it's a work of art, and it's been done so well. Like you said, the interior is in here, the maroon with the color outside. I'm not going to call it gray. What, what it's, is the it's, color? Uh, it's based off of a Mercedes Mango Monza gray, but we changed it up, and we added a little bit of brown, and okay. kind of... I wanted that uh, that champagne like um, you know like a champagne -y tinge to it, the, the yes. little tinge coming through mm -hmm. it. Yeah, and I thought it would go great with the with the burgundy, and this is uh, more and Giles. And then the the stitch this the stitching color is our actually secondary color that's on the body, and that wow. that's a like a like a goldy bronze, if you will. So wow, love this, absolutely love this. This reminds me a lot about like the Buick Invicta, the 61, and the Leech's beautiful, beautiful design, one of the top four here at Battle of the Builders. And this is right up there for me. They didn't think so. I know, but everybody <laughs> has their opinion. I'm not a builder. I'm not a builder, everybody. I appreciate the cars and the builds that you all do, and I'm becoming a builder, but I'm not a builder yet. So they see things that I don't see, and I appreciate things that maybe they don't see, and that's just how it works. Yeah, you know, but that's my two cents, and that, I'll say that. That's how we do it. Let me show that's you the That's how we lights. do it. Let's do that. <laughs> so even the, even the tail lights, so we, we hand, hand made the, the rear tail lights out of, uh, you know, plexiglass LEDs. And even here, where it says Plymouth, that's running light, third brake light, and reverse light. Wow. Wow. Even in the in the trunk, don't mind my, my mess when I open this, is where my jacket's at, but down in here, it even has the Roadrunner, or Roid Runner logo. Roid Runner. <laughs> yep, and then under here, Built for George Abitan. Wow. Wow, this is awesome. This is awesome. What's next? How are you gonna oh, top man. this? We got all kinds of stuff going. We're building a uh, beautiful uh, 68 charger. Okay. Um, for a gentleman, um, Hayden. He's uh, the owner of Alani Energy Drink. Okay. Um, which is gonna be a beautiful car. Uh, building a 75. Are we room. going out of the box? A little bit. With the I, charger? I always go out of the box. Okay. If you check out any of my nine builds that are here, it is like nothing else here. Sima is big and Massive. I had to come over here, but I don't even think I've seen your other builds. Yeah, there's nine of them in there. We won a Ford Award, one uh, top Ford Award for a truck that we built that's here, which is cool. 
you know. Um, is that the black one? No, it's brown. It's a. It's a brown. Yep, it's root beer brown. Root beer brown. Okay, I haven't seen. I need to yeah. go and find these. Yeah. Dustin, for people at home wanting to um, see these builds, check out your website yes. and your social media. What's the full name once again? Nostalgia Hot Rods. Nostalgia Hot Rods. That is Instagram. That is website. That is everything branded Nostalgia Hot Rods. That's it. You type that in, you find us. Love it. Absolutely love it. And I appreciate this so much. Yes, of course. Thank Anytime. you. Thank you.